रामाय राम भद्राय राम चंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताय पते ए नम बालकांड चैप्टर नंबर 54 शबला फाइट्स When Vishwamitra found that Vashishta would on no account part with the cow of plenty he began to drag her away by main force whereat Shabla sad at heart and burning with grief said to herself what has the noble Vashishta forsaken me quiet has he delivered me over sorrow stricken and afflicted to the king's attendants to be dragged away never have i offended the lofty minded sage in thought in word or in deed then why does he cast me off innocent faithful and dear to him and he the soul of virtue and justice so she thought while deep sighs shook her frame all at once she made up her mind and shaking off the menial crowd that laid violent hands on her as if they were but feathers light she rushed past them swifter than wind on to where her beloved master stood with sobs and groans grievous to hear did she appeal to the saintly vashishta and in tones loud and majestic as of rolling clouds or what drums huge spake she forth her tale of woe o child of brahma o lord the king's servants drag me away by main force from your side is it that you have cast me off to which the saintly one gave the sad reply convulsed with grief she stood before him and his own heart was wrung with pity to see her suffering so dearer to him than a sister know ye not shabla that i can never bear to have you away from me even in thought know ye not that you can never give me any offense nay the slightest i deliver you over to the hands of strangers Nay it is but yon king that takes you away from me by main force against my will a mighty monarch is he and immeasurably proud of his might i am no match for him for is he not a great warrior a mighty king he traces his line through ancestors fame for strength of arm and valor of heart and above all he is lord and master of white lands with untold millions to do his behests lo yonder stands his dread hosts embattled in fierce array and countless as the sands of the ocean chariots horses elephants infantry beneath proud banners and pennons gay now see you not that he is mightier than i shabala heard him out and in all humility rendered her answer to the wise one lord it needs no saying from me that warrior strength and might is not before radiant energy of a brahmana for it is not of the earth it is divine in nature it has its source from on high again i say unto you akshatriya is as chief before a strong gale when he pits himself against a brahmana no way not your potent mind that is utterly immeasurable and inconceivable vishwamitra is a bold warrior it is true but what is he before your awful might before your all consuming energy O thou of radiant glory speak the word and i in whom is stored up the terrible brahmic energy of thine will before the eye has time to wink reduce to ashes yonder vast host that feeds his overwhelming pride be it so bring forth of thy might armies that shall scatter to the winds the proud hosts of the king No sooner did he utter these words the shabla uttered an awful humph and close upon it came into view vast hordes of paplavas hundreds and thousands of them spread dire ruin and confusion amongst the ranks of the enemy right before the eyes of the wandering vishwamitra but soon he recovered himself and roused to fury at the sight of his splendid army thus cruelly wrecked he rushed forth upon them in his chariot of gold and with bloodshot eyes of anger rained arrows and weapons great and small upon the opposing paplavas till they were laid low every last one of them shabala observing the sad plight of her warrior brood brought forth in her wrath fierce sakas yavanas and kambojas 
of superhuman strength and valor, and fair of, as the petals of the bright champaka flower, they marched forth in dread array against the foe, while their long swords and gold attire gave back a thousandfold uh, the rays of the sun. They hid the earth from view, so numerous were they, and wherever they fell, the all-consuming fire was not cruel. Which, perceiving, Vishwamitra in sore straits hurled upon them his weapons of magical might until the Yavanas, the Kambojas, the Paplavas, and the Shakas were scattered to the winds. Mangalam Koshlendraya Mahaniya Gunapte Chakravarti Dhanurjaya Sarvabhaumaya Mangalam. 